Wow! That was a beautiful This chapter is all about understanding that. So, everybody, today we are here to understand the sound, class 8th chapter, in one go. Or is kum bolte in one shot. Welcome to the Sounds One Shot Session. I'm Saurabh, your physics mentor. And today we will study about sound from the beginning to the starting to the end. How does it produce? How does it travel? How do you hear it? Finally, what are the characteristics of sound? Are there sounds that are produced but you cannot hear them? All these things will take care today. So, good evening everybody. Welcome back to Baiju 6th, 7th and 8th channel. I hope you have seen the sessions we have done till now. Sound ke liye we have done revision sessions, right? I gave you a homework, right? I gave you one shots to watch but they were in two parts. I wanted to make sure there is only one specific session for sound and that's why we are here. Yes, good evening, good evening. Bacho, kaise ho? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Devanand star, artist Saroj, Rakesh, Nazombe, Devashri, Raghav, Samiksha, Purvi, Archana, Radhika, Ujwal. Yes, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Dekho, I'll tell you something. Sound chapter. Sometimes students find this chapter difficult. Because, if you had studied sound before the last time, when Think about it. Just try to remember. Did you study this sound topic before? See, light chapter or electricity chapter, these are topics which students study from class 6th at least. So you feel connected to them. Sound comes for the first time in class 8th and that's when you feel, oh, itna kuch hai kya isme? Aray, re, ye class 9th mein fir aayega. Class 11th mein fir aayega. So, sound chapter today is the introduction. Next, you will meet this chapter again and again. And each time, its level will keep on increasing. Today, let's clear out the basics. Right? Menti nahi aaj, Nandini, aaj hum log padhenge. We have few questions in between, but aaj hum dhyan denge padhne pe. Right? Kya bolte? Everybody, shall we start learning everything about sound? Zaruri chapter hai. Chalo karein. Make sure you have pressed the like button. And if you are somebody new, make sure to press the subscribe button and the bell icon. You don't want to miss any session, I'm telling you that. So, I hope you are good. Numericals? Yes, we have. We have questions. Don't worry. You are ready? Ha, Burvi? Yeah. But today, Chandrayaan is busy. Understand? And by the way, uh, you have been given a form in the comment section. Sorry, in the community post. Right? We have Tomorrow, we are recording with an ISRO scientist. And that's why I have given you a form. I understand. I can't reply today, but I'm busy. But don't worry, I'll do it when it comes to time. But make sure you fill out that form. If there is any doubt, there is anything else, tell us and we'll ask the question tomorrow with your name. Okay? That's something I want all of you to do. Alright? Yes? 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 moment you think about sound, what do you think of? You think of instruments, you think of music, right? But have you ever thought, how is it produced? Think about it. Just, just start thinking like scientists. How do you think sound is produced? Kya karte ho? Ke sound produce hoti hai? Stop speaking for a minute. You do something, right? You hit something. You make things vibrate and then only you see the sound is being produced. So you can give a very good conclusion. Kya? Aapka conclusion kya ho sakta hai? That sound is produced when things vibrate. What is vibration? Jab cheezo ko aap hit karte ho. There is a vibration in those things. And right? This is what produces the sound. For example, you can say guitar strings vibrate to produce sound. Any of you, do you like playing any musical instrument? Do you want to play any instrument or play it? If you think about guitar, the strings vibrate and then only sound is produced. If you think about drums or tabla or dholak, that membrane vibrates. So things vibrate and then only the sound is produced. Correct, right? Ah, yes. Correct, right? No matter what, no matter what. I am 
I have a guitar. I did not learn the guitar. Maybe I'll see you. कोई बात नहीं. सुनो. Things vibrate and then sound is produced. क्या इतनी बात clear है? Yes, you play piano very good. Hello Pranavi. You play oh nice. Uh, Ujwal, we'll take care of it. Don't worry, bacha. Uh, very good. Fluid, Manvi, I'll come to this question. In this session only we have this question. All right. Very good. Chalo, aage chalte hain. So first learning is, sir, sound is produced when things vibrate. Aap jab bhi kisi ko hit karte ho na, it vibrates and that's how you see the sound. But sound hai kya? What is sound if you think about it? Yes, it is produced by vibrating objects. But sound is a disturbance. Yes. But sir, where is this disturbance? I can't see it. Can you see the air? No. So, you can't see the disturbance also. So, first thing, sound is produced by vibrating objects. Next, important thing is, sound travels as a wave. Sir, wave kya hota hai? Hmm, wave kya hota hai? Good question. How many of you have done, how many have thrown stones in a pond? Kitne logo ne? एक शांत से लेक में पत्थर फेंका है टेल मी ट्रूथफुली वेर एवर यू सी अ पॉन्ड एक बार तो मन करता है ना पत्थर फेंकने का सच बताओ यस और नो यस है ना करेक्ट हाँ वेरी गुड ऑसोलेशन एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी आई कम टू दिस ऑसोलेशन मतलब टू एंड प्रोमोशन फ्रीक्वेंसी इज अ स्पेसिफिक टर्म आई कम टू दैट डोंट वरी हाँ वेरी गुड इन पियानो पियानो के अंदर इफ यू सी देर इज अमर विच स्ट्राइक्स हाँ वेरी गुड नाइस सो Sound it travels in the form of a wave that is produced by the vibration of particles in a medium. देखो बच्चों wave कुछ नहीं है wave is a disturbance which is travelling. Sir मतलब क्या है इसका? I can tell you in very simple words. Take a long rope, ठीक है? Take a long rope और उस rope को ना on this side ऐसे झटका देना. Just give it a slight flick. What will you notice? Tell me. What will you notice? You will notice. पता है क्या? You will notice. This kind, this kind of a motion, है ना? This is what we call as wave. You gave a disturbance over here, but you will see this disturbance moving forward with the rope. But the rope is not moving. Rope तो तुम्हारे हाथ में ही है. It is the disturbance which is moving. So in sound, what happens? This string which vibrates, this string pushes the air molecules next to it. ऐसे. So air molecules, they got a disturbance, like you, you flick the rope. Just like you flick the rope, karte ho na, usse se it has given a disturbance. This disturbance travels forward in the medium. Right? So this is what we call as wave. Very good. Hana, you have seen this in water. And let me tell you, it's very easy to understand here. When, when you throw a, 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 a stone in the pond, okay? When you throw a stone in the pond, आसपास पत्तियां भी होती हैं तैरती हुई राइट यू माइट हैव सीन देर आर लीव्स फ्लोटिंग ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द पॉन्ड बट लेट्स से यू थ्रो द द स्टोन इन द पॉन्ड देर इज अ वे व्हिच इज स्प्रेडिंग आउटवर्ड्स डू यू सी दैट लीव मूविंग विद द वेव टेल मी सच में यस और नो थिंक अबाउट इट जब आप पॉन्ड में पत्थर फेंकते हो देर इज अ डिस्टर्बेंस विच इज स्प्रेडिंग लाइक दिस ना रेडियली है ना ऐसे सर्किल बड़ा होता जाता है दैट इज द वेव But if there is a leaf on the pond, जब ये wave आती है, क्या leaf साथ में चली जाती है? Does it travel with the wave? Yes or no? Consent is okay. Very good, Kunal. Nice. Yes. Uh oh. नहीं. That is ripple only. Riti, that's also same thing. Wave ripple same. Ah, nice. You know, the leaf stays at its position. You will notice. ये एक बार दोबारा करना. एक काम करना. Ah, take. Take a small thermocol ball <coughs> or take something that floats in water. Take Take something that floats in water. एक बकेट में पानी भरो. Just fill a water in a bucket and that particular thing that floats on water, you can take a thermocol ball. है ना? Safer, छोटा सा है. Put it in the water and then in between the bucket, you drop a small stone. You will see that ball ना? That ball will move ऐसे ऐसे up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But the waves will keep moving forward and this ball will keep moving up and down. Ball will not move with the wave. Ball aage nahi jayega. Yes, correct. Ha. Cosmic, this one, waves on water, it's a mix of transversal longitudinal. But this particular wave, ye wala, this is a longitudinal wave. Means particles are vibrating like this. In transverse, particles vibrate like this. Okay, fine. So, 
what i'm trying to say a wave can transfer energy but not the matter from one location to another everybody stay with me ha huh? listen to me very carefully when the wave travels medium ke particles they don't travel with the wave medium ke particles they vibrate along their mean position theek hai jo particles hai medium ke they will vibrate along their mean position aage kya badhega disturbance or wave yes clear waves you will learn anushka in class 11 there is a whole chapter on waves yes jaldi batao ha everybody is this clear come on wave can transfer energy but not the medium particles yes and she is correct meaning of dis disturbance is nothing it's just energy which is traveling right so waves are energy traveling but they don't carry the material material keeps vibrating at their own position ya to aise aise so it is transverse wave if the wave is traveling in this direction and particles are moving like this this is transverse wave if the wave is traveling in this direction and particles are moving vibrating like this it is a longitudinal wave theek hai fine particles don't move with the wave but the wave keeps moving forward fine theek hai chalo ab aage aate first thing we have learned is that sound is produced because of vibrations theek hai ab second question i am speaking here you are over there hamare beech mein kya hai What is there between me and you? Come on, tell me. Sir, दूरियाँ हैं. Don't say दूरियाँ. Yes, I know. There is distance. There is. Tell me what is what am I, what is the answer I'm looking for? Air, medium. Very good. Nice, yar. It is the air which is between us. Yes. And the air, the sound which I am producing, it is traveling through this medium and reaching to you. Yes. Sound. It needs a medium, right? Sound is a mechanical wave. Sound कैसी है? साउंड एक मैकेनिकल वेव है इसका मतलब साउंड रिक्वायर्स अ मीडियम वैक्यूम में साउंड विल नॉट ट्रैवल राइट सो इन द एयर साउंड प्रोपोगेट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कंप्रेशन एंड रेयर फैक्शन देखो कंप्रेशन एंड रेयर फैक्शन डोंट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ दीज टू न्यू टर्म्स आई टोल्ड यू कि भाई दैट पोर्शन जहां पर स्ट्रिंग हैज पुस्ड द मॉलिक्यूल्स वहां पर क्या होता है लेट से These are molecules, ठीक है These are molecules. String has pushed the molecules. अब क्या होगा पता है Lot of molecules will come together in one place. Look at these areas. Look at these areas. This compression वाला The molecules are close to each other, right? And there are areas in which molecules are far apart, right? There, where the molecules are far apart. This is a compression and rear faction. The areas or the regions in which molecules are very close to each other, है ना आसपास आ गए उनको push करने की वजह से those regions are called as compression. Compress हो गए ना right? The molecules got compressed. It's compression. Rarefaction is opposite. Where the molecules are far from each other, those regions are called as rarefactions. Yes, ha, yes. Call me for yes. You can say. Sound travels. Yes, sir. Sound travels in water. I'm telling you. Look at the Bayes app. We have done an experiment on that, right? So, compressed regions are compression, right? The regions when molecules are close to each other, regions when molecules are far apart, that's rarefaction, correct? But if you look at this, ध्यान से देखना ये particle को देखो. Wave आगे बढ़ रहा है. The wave is moving forward, but the particle, the particle is just going left and This proves कि particle does not move with the wave. Particle just vibrates ऐसे ऐसे What moves? The wave. The disturbance moves. ठीक है Compression are region of high pressure and high density. Rare faction are regions of low pressure and low density. Correct? This is easy to understand. खुद सोचो If particles are very close to each other, है ना दबा के रखा है तुमने particles को Pressure will be high. density will be high right so compressions mein pressure is high density is high rare factions molecules hain dur dur khulla khulla ekdam badhiya pressure is low density is low right so rare factions mein we have low pressure low density compressions mein we have high pressure and high density yes correct hai na thruvid ha very good raghav you are right <laughs> so anish i said sound is a wave 
right? It travels in air in the form of compressions and rarefactions. Compressions are the regions where the particles of the medium are very close to each other, regions where the pressure is high and density is high. Rarefactions are the regions in which the particles are far from each other, right? In these regions, pressure is low and density is low. Okay? इस तरह से sound travel करती है air में, especially I would say air में, ठीक है? But we can also speak here. हमारे में क्या vibrate कर रहा है? I mean, I can stand in front of you and still talk but not move a muscle. What is vibrating in our body so that we can speak? हम कैसे बोलते हैं? There is a nature's gift given to us. Yes. हाँ, बिल्कुल, सुजन, most welcome. Vocal cords, very good, you're right. गिटार, आ रहा था मेरे को आता है, बस happy birthday बजाना गिटार में. Nature's gift, the voice box, larynx we call it, right? This is called as the larynx or the voice box. लेकिन voice box, you can say it's the encasing. Voice box is a box, not a box box. It's an encasing in your body, but inside the voice box we have two thin membranes we call them vocal cords these are the vocal cords and how many of you have seen the 3d version of the experiments we have done i explained sound to you in 3d using whole simulations i know i have to give you those chal rahe kaam us pe the back end team is working on that okay but this is i have shown you remember e hai na so this particular thing these are two flaps which vibrate when air passes through them right so this is something which vibrates and produces the sound. Correct? What vibrates in our body? What is it that vibrates in your body? Voice box or vocal cords? Voice box or vocal cords? If a question comes, what vibrates in human body to produce sound? Voice box or vocal cords? Yes, I'm sure right. Haan, very good. Vocal cords chords vibrate not the voice box voice box is the encasing which contains vocal cords okay fine so vocal cords in the voice box they vibrate to produce sound they vibrate to produce sound Bahut badia. now think about it space may if there is an explosion right if let's say iss ke aas paas koi bump hati. do you think you can hear the sound Right? Can you hear the sound? No. And we have ample proof here. Gravity movie you might have seen. In gravity movie, their whole uh, space station was breaking here and there. Right? There was huge explosions in the spacecraft, but you can't hear anything. Space may, there is no medium because it's vacuum. Means sound will not travel. Correct? Hai na? Uh, ISS Bacha Debashri, it is the International Space Station. Right? So if you think about it, this blue portion, it is the atmosphere boundary. Which rockets sound you can hear? A or B? If I give you this question, A or B, which of these rockets sound you can hear? Or none? Yes, sound cannot travel in vacuum. Vacuum gives you, right? A. Hello. If you are new, press the like button, subscribe to the channel. Very good. None, nay. A. Why? Because A is inside the atmosphere. Na? And where there is atmosphere means there is air, there is medium, means you can hear the sound. Right? Okay? Okay? Chalo. Aage chalte hai. Now, this is something which right now you understand ki bhai, if sound cannot travel in vacuum means if I hang a bell inside this bell jar and create vacuum in the bell jar. I want to try this, my vacuum pump is not strong, hai. Us aawaz aati hai ki, that's why. But, right now understand, but I will take a good vacuum pump and then try it. Right, if there is a bell inside this bell jar, electric bell, hai, hai? and you remove the air from inside this bell jar, can you hear the bell? No. Bell will do like this. Bell will do like this, but you can't hear anything. Why? Because vibrations are happening, but it cannot travel. That's why. Yes? Ah. Voice is different because of quality. The structure of vocal cords. Right? Sound requires a medium for propagation. Another very important question. Is se bahut question bante bhai. Mostly theoretical, but yes. Right? Sounds in different media. Now let me ask you something. Kitne logo ne ye try kiya hai? How many of you have tried this activity in school? I'm sure you would have done. Hamne to kiya tha yaar. You put your 
ear on your table and you tell your friend udhar se aise kar tak 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 uh, tak 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 done this tell me did you did, did you do it ha not me me you have done this very good density kya hota hai so hum bacha density hota hai mass upon volume kitna mass hai aur wo kitna space le raha hai matlab volume mass upon volume ko density bolte hain very good kali kiya bas right yes and this is the proof ke sound can travel through solids also actually they travel fast in solids liquids mein bhi sound travel karta hai so if you have this confusion ke sir pani mein awaaz nahi aata hai that's not true awaaz aata hai sound is traveling actually faster in liquids dolphins submarines if a submarine produces sound in water no you will be able to hear it and on your byju's app go ahead check this experiment there is experiment given to you in the byju's app on this proper experiment hua hai uske andar humne speaker dala tha pani ke andar aur pani ke andar hi mic rakha hua tha awaaz aa raha tha correct so sound needs a medium a medium to kuch bhi ho sakta hai na what kind of mediums do you know sir sound needs a medium medium can be solid liquid gas means sound can travel through solid liquid gas easy kuch dikkat hai isme right oh nice here it's not very good space sahil tomorrow you ask the question na space ke bare mein kal sar aa rahe hain basu sir we'll talk to him yes very good ha medium uh, gaha medium is anything which is made up of matter मैटर मतलब सर मॉलिक्यूल्स पार्टिकल्स है ना उसको मीडियम बोलते हैं करेक्ट साउंड नीड्स अ मीडियम गैस सॉलिड लिक्विड ऑल राइट व्हिच मींस इफ यू आर ऑन द मून अगर आप मून पे हो लेट्स से मून पे टुमारो वी सेंड ह्यूमंस आई मीन नासा हैज डन इट बट लेट्स से टुमारो वी आल्सो सेंड ह्यूमंस डू यू थिंक मून के ऊपर ऐसे बात होगी अरे रमेश इधर आओ ओ भाई इधर इधर नो राइट देयर इज नो एटमॉस्फेयर ऑन द मून मींस यू कांट शाउट यू कांट ring you can't clap nobody will hear you out what do you want you want radio communications hai na tumko lagta hai moon pe aise baat hogi hello idhar right yes ha purvi hona chahiye it will it will happen Exper iska experiment karna liye bahut bhari kaam hai yaar mere liye correct ha yes <laughs> all right so we have learned that sound travels as a wave okay it is produced because of vibration how do you hear it by production ho gaya sound ka sound has been produced theek hai because of vibration it's energy it's a wave it is traveling in the medium in the form of wave theek hai hai na air made is traveling in compression rear fraction ab ye sound is reaching your ears how are you hearing it tum sunte kaise ho isko yes hai na ajuba ha radio waves they are electromagnetic waves they don't require medium <coughs> वेरी गुड बाय ईयर वेरी गुड अब ईयर इज अ कंप्लीट सेटअप है ना ईयर तो पूरी पूरी चीज है ईयर के अंदर क्या होता है दिस इज अगैन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्शन इन योर सिलेबस इस पर बहुत क्वेश्चन बनते हैं देखो भाई ईयर के तीन पार्ट है आउटर ईयर इज वॉट वी कॉल एज दिस ये जो है ना आई डोंट नो इट हैपन्स इन योर स्कूल नाउ वट इज नॉट बट वेन वी वर किड्स वी हैड अ फ्यू टीचर्स हुड द हैबिट ऑफ ई If they want to punish us, आजकल तुम्हारे नहीं होता होगा यू नो थिंग्स हैव चेंज अ लॉट बट वेन वी वर किड्स ऐसा होता था हमारे कान खींच लिया जाते थे दिस थिंग इज कॉल्ड एज पिन्ना राइट यस बायोलॉजी इन फिजिक्स अगर साइंस तो साइंस है क्या बायोलॉजी क्या फिजिक्स राइट है ना हाँ दिस इज पिन्ना ठीक है हाँ पिन्ना का काम क्या है तुमने कभी नोटिस किया है हर किसी का पिन्ना दिस दीज थिंग्स दे आर फेसिंग लाइक दिस कभी तुमने देखा है किसी का पिन्ना ऐसे हो पीछे की तरफ हैव यू हैव यू सीन एनी बडी हु देखा है किसी को जल्दी बताओ इट हैपन नाउ ऑल्सो इन योर क्लास अरे वाह मीन्स तुम तो मेरे उसके हो जनरेशन के नो राइट नहीं होता किसी का क्यों वी आर मेड इन सच अ मैनर दट इफ द साउंड इज कमिंग टू यू योर इयर्स हैव अ जॉब ऑफ कैचिंग द साउंड एंड सेंडिंग इट इन साइड दीज आर लाइक साउंड कैचर्स अच्छा साउंड गो इन साइड अंदर जाओ अंदर साउंड अरे साउंड इधर इधर गो इन साइड गो इन साइड राइट पिन्ना का ये काम है टू कैच द साउंड एंड सेंड इट इन साइड इन साइड मतलब सर दिस ईयर कैनाल राइट इन साइड द ईयर देर इज अ बिग गुफा देर इज अ बिग टनल राइट अंधेरा होता है उधर राइट सो दिस 
टनल इज वॉट वी कॉल एस इयर कैनाल राइट इयर कैनाल के अंदर जाता है सामान एंड एट द एंड ऑफ इयर कैनाल वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज इयर ड्रम हिंदी वालो तुमने सुना होगा कान का पर्दा है ना यू हैव हर्ड दिस Never use your pen to scratch your ears. Never use a sharp object. At least don't put anything in your ears. Why? Because it can damage your eardrum. Hindi में क्या बोलते हैं घर पे? पर्दा फट जाएगा क्या कर रहा है? ना ना ऐसे नहीं करते. Remember? Yes, है ना? हाँ. Yes, correct. So this is the eardrum. What is eardrum? It's a normal membrane only. कुछ नहीं है. एक membrane है, है ना? एक छोटा सा बस membrane type का है. When sound falls on this membrane, this membrane also vibrates. ऐसे 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 है ना? This membrane also vibrates. Okay, fine, है ना? बिल्कुल. Yes, damaging it will make you deaf. You are right, Raga. एकदम. Yes, eardrum. Tuning fork. Sir, वो tuning fork खास बात क्या होती है ना? वो एक particular frequency के sound निकालता है. We have used a lot of tuning forks, right? है ना? So देखो, eardrum is the thing which is vibrating. Sir, why? Because the sound which was traveling in the medium finally is hitting the eardrum and making it to vibrate. ठीक है अब eardrum हो गया vibrate ठीक है fine. Now connected to eardrum we have the middle ear, right? Middle ear में क्या क्या आ रहा है? In the middle ear we have this eardrum. Then we have छोटा छोटा ना three bones, smallest bones in your body तुम्हारे कान में है. You have three small small bones in your body we call them anvil incus stapes right so ye three bones inka kaam kya hai this is the eardrum usse attached hai ye bone when eardrum vibrates this bone also vibrates hai na this bone this set of bones vibrates ye kya karta hai it amplifies the sound aapke kaan mein jo sound aati hai na it's very very low this these set of bones they amplify the sound and then there is this snail like structure कान के अंदर। If you remember, I shown you the whole 3D structure of this, right? I have done a simulation. I have shown you a simulation on this. जिन्होंने नहीं देखा है, पिछला सेशन देखना बच्चों, उसके अंदर I have shown you the complete simulation of this thing. In bone से we have a connected structure called as cochlea. ये structure क्या है? ऐसा होता है, spiral, spiral. In this there are fluids, है ना? Fluids होते हैं, और इसके अंदर hair-like structure होते हैं. जब fluids pass करता है ना, these structures they also vibrate और नीचे होते हैं इनके electrical signal generate करने वाले cells. जब ये वाइब्रेट करते हैं यहां से इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सिग्नल्स प्रोड्यूस होते हैं विच आर देन सेंड टूवर्ड्स द ब्रेन तो इनर ईयर इनर ईयर में वी हैव द कॉकलिया द स्पाइरल स्नेल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर फिल्ड विथ फ्लूड एंड द ऑडिटरी नर्व्स ऑडिटरी ऑप्टिकल नर्व थी आंखों वाली ऑडिटरी है कान वाली सिंपल सी बात है राइट right? है ना सो आउटर ईयर इज पिन्ना एंड ईयर कैनाल मिडल ईयर इज Eardrum and three smallest bones of the body. Inner ear, we have cochlea and the auditory nerve. Yes. How from solid? Aradna, solid ke andar bhi sound travel karti hai. Yes, that's true. Particles jaha bhi honge na, sound can travel. Dekho bhai, you know how sound travels? Particles, they hit each other. Ek dousre ko hit karenge aur sound ko aage bhejenge. Jaha jaha particle, vaha vaha sound travel kar sakta hai. Simple si baat hai. Yes, ear is very complex. Everybody. Pinna's job is to catch the sound and send it inside. Now this sound is now hitting your eardrum. Eardrum will vibrate. Next to eardrum we have set of three bones. Eardrum hilega, to uske jo teen bones hai, they also will vibrate. They will amplify the sound. These, this last bone, it, will, it is connected to the snail-like structure. Hai na? Isko bolte hai cochlea. Iske andar fluid filled hota hai. Ab ye fluid mein vibration hota hai. तो इसकी वजह से we have electrical impulses produced which are sent to the brain अब brain तो electrical signal समझता है ना भाई या आ anyway I'll explain you I'll explain you we have the last section in this sound pollution उसमें आ गया real name यही है anvil incus stapes malleus incus stapes इसके दो नाम हैं anvil incus stapes है और malleus incus stapes भी है एक हाँ very good very good यार ante ante हो रहा है October में seven to 15, 7 to 12, 7 to 12 October. Okay, fine. Next is propagation of sound wave. Now, this particular thing, yes, we have understood. sound travels in air? Yes or no? Is this thing clear? Tell me. That is your speaker vibrating. Speaker ke bagal mein air molecules hai, they are getting compressed and relaxed. So compression jaha jaha hai, that is compression, baki rear faction. Clear hai yaha tak, hai na? Haan. Diagram pe I'll come, I'll come. Yeh diagram nahi banana bhai, this is not required. 
the diagram which you will have to make in exams is this. Now you tell me something. Sir, sound travels like that. And a sound travels like that. What is this diagram? Can somebody answer me? What is this diagram here? Sound is traveling like that in air. That is fine. What is this? Ye kya hai? Kon batayega? Yes. Pratham? Yes, bacha. Haan. Waves, okay. Oh, Ansh, Satish Chandra Bose did this thing. But I will not go into that. Radio signals are nothing but electromagnetic waves. This is your phone, this is your TV, wireless thing, right? Haan, very good. Transverse, very nice. Somebody said, Cosmic Explorer, very good. We do this to study these sounds better. Look, this is not how sound travels. Sound travels like that. But do you think studying sound in that manner, is it easy? No. Usme na study karna bada bhaari kaam hai. Studying that in the actual picture is very difficult. To humne kya kiya? We got smart. Humne thoda na dimaag lagaya. Humne ka yaar, studying this particular wave is easy. To usko na isme convert karte hai. Just for studying purposes, sound kaise travel karta hai sir waise longitudinal wave compression rarefaction ki form mein ye kya hai transverse wave this has been converted to this only for studying purposes sir kiya kaise how did you do it i told you compressions are the regions of compression the region of high what yes ha ah, very good ansh nice ah, why sound mushtaq because think about it if you press something घर में तुम्हारे स्प्रिंग है स्प्रिंग को ना ऐसे करना स्लिंकी और स्प्रिंग ऐसे करना यू विल सी द आंसर हाई प्रेशर यस हाँ तोफिक वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग इट टुमारो यार लाइव में ना बहुत टाइम लग जाता है और मजा नहीं आता है सो योर क्वेश्चंस ओनली आई विल टेक बट टुमारो वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग टेल मी द क्वेश्चन आई गिव यू फॉर्म हाँ जी देखो कंप्रेशन में देर इज हाई प्रेशर एंड हाई डेंसिटी है ना अब अगर मैं इसका ग्राफ प्लॉट करूं है ना द प्लेस इज वेर एवर देर इज कंप्रेशन मीन्स Pressure is going to be high and density is going to be high. So if I plot a pressure versus distance graph, ये देखो यहाँ से इतनी दूरी पे क्या है सर रेयर फैक्शन ओके प्रेशर इज लो यहाँ से इतनी दूरी पे क्या है सर कंप्रेशन मतलब हाई प्रेशर ओके हाई प्रेशर मीन्स क्रेस्ट ठीक है यहाँ से यहाँ पर क्या है सर कंप्रेशन मीन्स हाई प्रेशर ओके हाई प्रेशर है तो फिर क्रेस्ट बना दो थिंक अबाउट इट वेर एवर देर इज कंप्रेशन We have crest. What is a crest? Sir, the top points, these top points are called as crest. Wherever there is rarefaction, you see there is a trough. What is a trough? What is a trough? Trough is the bottom most point. Sabse kam wala. Thik hai? This is the mean, center, middle line. Thik hai? Ye hoge middle line. Clear? So what are we saying? Compression mein crest hai. रेयर फैक्शन में ट्रफ है क्यों रेयर फैक्शन में लीस्ट प्रेशर है कंप्रेशन में हाईएस्ट प्रेशर है सो दिस इज प्रेशर वर्सेस डिस्टेंस ग्राफ क्लियर हुआ राइट वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ प्रेशर वर्सेस डिस्टेंस ग्राफ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वेव सो दैट वी कैन स्टडी इट बेटर यस है ना एवरीबॉडी सुनो ध्यान से ऊपर क्या था कंप्रेशन रेयर फैक्शन जहां जहां कंप्रेशन था वहां पर हाई प्रेशर था ध्यान से देखो नीचे वहां पर ऐसे है क्रेस्ट है क्रेस्ट मतलब टॉप वाला पॉइंट जहां जहां रेयर फैक्शन है मतलब पार्टिकल्स दूर है प्रेशर इज लीस्ट वहां वहां पे ट्रफ है व्हाट इज ट्रफ सर बॉटम मोस्ट पॉइंट ठीक है फाइन साहिल समझा दी दोबारा राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव मेड दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम टू स्टडी द साउंड वेव अब सुनो दीज आर द वेव क्रेस्ट दीज आर द वेव ट्रफ अब आती है कहानी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ साउंड की एवरीबॉडी दिस इज द पोर्शन फ्रॉम विच लॉर्ड ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम यहीं से आएगा न्यूमेरिकल अब ध्यान से सुनना पहले बताओ एवरीबॉडी इज दिस क्लियर टिल नाउ वट एवर वी हैव लर्न इज इट क्लियर टू यू ये कमान नजों में वट एपन बच्चों कंप्रेशन एंड रेयर फैक्शन थे कंप्रेशन जहां था वहां हाई प्रेशर था वी गॉट अ क्रेस्ट रेयर फैक्शन जहां था वहां पे लीस्ट प्रेशर था वी गॉट अ ट्रफ सबसे कम प्रेशर राइट सो इस तरह से हमने ये वाला ग्राफ बना दिया क्यों पढ़ने के लिए राइट ये वेरी गुड क्लियर एकदम यस यूर राइट कविना मुर्गन कवि आई जस्ट कॉलिंग कवि इट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग नेम यस यूर राइट वेरी गुड ठीक है अब देखो साउंड वेव लुक्स लाइक दिस 
अब बात करते हैं कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स की द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू क्रेस्ट एवरीबडी लिसन टू मी केयरफुल या द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू क्रेस्ट इसको हम बोलते हैं वेव लेंथ सर क्यों एक वेव पता है क्या होता है वॉट इज वन वेव दिस इज वन कंप्लीट वेव इसको हम बोलते हैं वन वेव इस एक वेव की लेंथ कितनी है दैट इज वेव लेंथ राइट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वेव लेंथ ओके ठीक है है ना ये जो है ना इस पॉइंट से लेके दोबारा आपको सेम पॉइंट से सेम पॉइंट तक का डिस्टेंस लेना है यू टेक डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू क्रेस्ट वेव लेंथ टू ट्रफ वेव लेंथ ठीक है फाइन यस हाँ वेरी गुड लैमडा यू राइट ना हो वट एम सेंग लुक एट दिस दिस इज द सेंटर लाइन ना द मिडल लाइन मिडल लाइन से टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट कितनी दूर है दिस मिडल लाइन से टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट द मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द मेन पोजीशन इज कॉल्ड एज एम्पलीट्यूड देखो ये मेन पोजीशन है ना दिस हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन इज द मेन पोजीशन इस मेन पोजीशन से कितना दूर तक गया है पार्टिकल दैट इज द एम्पलीट्यूड मतलब क्रेस्ट का डिस्टेंस निकाल लो That is your amplitude, या फिर ट्रफ का निकाल लो दैट इज ऑल्सो योर एम्पलीट्यूड है ना डेफिनेशन एम्पलीट्यूड क्या है द मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल फ्रॉम मेन पोजिशन इज कॉल्ड द एम्पलीट्यूड येस वॉट इज क्रेस्ट क्रेस्ट मतलब होता है टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट सबसे ऊपर वाला जो है ना इसको बोलते हैं क्रेस्ट चोटी है ना येस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एम्पलीट्यूड वेरी गुड अब एम्पलीट्यूड क्या है मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मेन पोजिशन इसकी यूनिट क्या होगी कैन समबडी गेस इट्स यूनिट आई गेव यू डेफिनेशन मैक्सिमम डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द मेन पोजिशन इज कॉल्ड एज एम्पलीट्यूड यूनिट क्या होगी इसकी यस yes. अच्छा अनुभव डोंट मीटर मीटर डिस्टेंस है ना बच्चों इट इज द डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस की क्या होती है यूनिट डिस्टेंस तो मीटर होता है वेव लेंथ क्या है सर लेंथ लेंथ इज मीटर सिंपल राइट वेव लेंथ मतलब क्रेस्ट से लेके क्रेस्ट के बीच में कितनी दूरी है This particular length, the distance between two crest is called as the wavelength, the length of one wave. Tick, fine, right? Chalo, ye clear ho gaya? Ab suno zara, everybody. Uh -huh. Okay. You tell me something. Kya difference hai? What is the difference you feel? this one and this one what is the difference you can feel kya lagta hai yes come on come on give the answer give the answer pitch uh, uh, uh. i'll give you one more example difference first one second one डिफरेंस लाउडनेस लाउडनेस तुम जब स्पीकर का वॉल्यूम बढ़ाते हो वेन यू इंक्रीज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पीकर वट आर यू डूइंग यू आर इंक्रीज द लाउडनेस हल्के हल्के वट इज इट सर वेरी वेरी फीबल लाउडनेस बहुत कम है वेन यू शाउट दैट इज लाउड राइट वेन यू शाउट दैट इज लाउड लाउडनेस मतलब क्या है सर जोर से सुना ही आ रहा है वही लाउडनेस है राइट सो वट इज द डिफरेंस इन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स डिफरेंस है कि भाई लाउड साउंड के अंदर एम्पलीट्यूड इज मोर मतलब इफ आई वाइब्रेटेड दिस मच इतना इतना दिस इज लेस एम्पलीट्यूड इफ आई वाइब्रेटेड दिस मच दिस इज मोर एम्पलीट्यूड करेक्ट राइट एम्पलीट्यूड में डिफरेंस क्या होता है द सॉरी लाउडनेस में डिफरेंस क्या होता है द एम्पलीट्यूड इज मोर फॉर अ लाउडर वेव कैसा लगेगा जिस वेव का एम्पलीट्यूड ज्यादा होगा दिस इज द एम्पलीट्यूड of first wave and this one is the amplitude second wave jiska amplitude zyada uski loudness bhi zyada and you will hear a loud sound zor ki awaaz aayegi volume bahut zyada yes ha very good correct cosmic explorer loudness is proportional to amplitude theek clear unit kya hai iski decibel formula not today not class 9 it will come in class 11 theek hai icc wale padhte hain by the way decibel is the unit of लाउडनेस कोई भी साउंड कितनी लाउड है उसको हम मेजर करते हैं डेसिबल्स में यू माइट हैव हर्ड दिस कि भाई इस डेसिबल से ऊपर नॉइज पोल्यूशन होता है राइट सो डेसिबल इज द यूनिट ऑफ लाउडनेस डीबी एंड लाउडनेस इज 
इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर ऑफ एम्पलीट्यूड सो इन सिंपल वर्ड यू कैन से सर एम्पलीट्यूड ज्यादा होगा लाउडनेस ज्यादा होगा एम्पलीट्यूड कम होगा लाउडनेस सिंपल सी बात है राइट है ना वट इज लाउडनेस इट इज द मेजर ऑफ ऑफ हाउ इंटेंस ऑफ हाउ इंटेंस इज इज द साउंड है ना ठीक है अब सुनो एवरीबॉडी नेक्स्ट थिंग ध्यान देना इस पर जरा इफ आई टेल यू let me let me give you small context first dekho bhai everybody focus focus ha huh? i told you ke i told you that this is one wave right this is one wave or sir this is one wave you can also say that is one wave kahan se starting hui sir yahan se hai na यहां से कहानी चालू हुई दिस इज हाफ वेव एंड दिस इज सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ द वेव राइट ये आधा और ये आधा इसको हम बोल रहे हैं वन वेव वो ये और ये बराबर है कैसे सर हाउ आई टेल यू देखो भाई दिस इज आई एम टेलिंग यू वन वेव दिस इज वन वेव एंड दिस इज वन वेव ठीक है सर कैसे सेम है इन तीनों में ना एरिया चेक कर लो सर ये रहा आधा एरिया और ये रहा आधा एरिया इसमें देखना जरा चेक चेक द एरिया सर आधा एरिया ये रहा बाकी आधा ये रहा और आधा आधा ये रहा इफ यू एड दीज टू इट बिकम्स दिस ना है ना यहां देखो सर ये रहा आधा एरिया दिस इज माय हाफ एरिया इफ आई एड दीज टू इट बिकम्स दिस राइट एंड दिस इज द रिमेनिंग हाफ ये तो ये है सो so, तीनों एक्चुअली वन वेव है कितने को समझ में आया इज इट क्लियर दैट इज वन वेव दिस इज ऑल्सो वन वेव एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन वेव वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट सर आई वॉन्ट टू कंप्लीट एरियाज राइट ये लाइक सर लो क्या यार लाइक वाइक करो क्या कर रहे हो क्लियर है ना सो दिस इज वन वेव दिस इज ऑल्सो वन वेव एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन वेव एकदम ठीक है ना चलो अब नोटिस यहां ध्यान से देखो स्टार्टिंग जीरो हाउ मेनी वेव्स आर पासिंग इन हाउ मच टाइम यू टेल बी दैट ध्यान से देखना जीरो से चालू कहानी वन वेव टू वेव राइट चार सेकंड में कितना वेव पास हुआ उस लाइन से वन वेव टू वेव राइट Very good. Two waves have traveled in four seconds. Notice करो ये पहला wave खत्म ये दूसरा wave खत्म right? Two waves are traveling in four seconds. Sir, two waves in four seconds. Anybody has any problem in this? जल्दी बताओ हा very good. Anybody has any problem in this? Clear है ना भाई Right? टू वेव है पास इन दिस इज द फर्स्ट वेव स्टार्टिंग हुई फर्स्ट वेव खत्म सेकेंड वेव खत्म टाइम कितना लगा सर फोर सेकेंड फोर सेकेंड में सर ओनली टू वेव कुड पास थ्रू दैट पॉइंट ठीक है फाइन अब सुनो वट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी है नंबर ऑफ वेव प्रोड्यूस्ड इन वन सेकेंड ओके ठीक है डेफिनेट सुन लेते हैं आई टेल यू आई टेल यू आई एक्सप्लेन यू बच्चा डोंट वरी टाइम पीरियड क्या होता है टाइम पीरियड इज टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस वन ऑसिलेशन और वन वेव अब हेयर वी हैव टू वेव इन फोर सेकेंड कैन समन टेल मी हाउ मच इज द टाइम फॉर वन वेव फ्रॉम दिस डेटा ये वाला वॉट इज द टाइम फॉर वन वेव कितना है टाइम येस ओनली सिक्सटी फाइव लाइक्स कमान एवरीबाडी लाइक्स आर वेरी लेस आगे बढ़ना है कि नहीं बढ़ना है जल्दी करो टू सेकेंड्स गुड वेरी गुड टू सेकेंड क्यों सर टू वेव फोर सेकेंड वन वेव फोर बाई टू दैट इज टू सेकेंड एक वेव को लगता है टू सेकेंड दैट इज द टाइम पीरियड वट इज द टाइम पीरियड टाइम टेकन टू प्रोड्यूस वन वेव इस पॉइंट से यू कैन से इस पॉइंट से एक वेव प्रोड्यूस होती है दो सेकेंड में From this point, one wave is passed 
or produced in two seconds. So time period became two seconds. So what is time period? Time required to produce one oscillation or one wave. Oscillation slash wave. That is time period. It is time na. Unit will be second. Time ko measure kis mein karte ho? Second mein na. So unit of time period will be seconds. Ab suno. Time period is clear. Hai na? Time period is easy and clear. Baut badiya. Frequency is number of waves produced in one second. Ek second mein kitna wave pass kar gaya? Tell me. What is the frequency of this wave? Anybody? Uh, sound will come. How much harmful it is? I'll come. I'll come. Is the frequency is 0.5 hertz. How do you Everybody. Look, a lot of students, na, people cram these things. Kisi ko samaj nahi aata time period kya hota hai, frequency kya hota hai. Log ratte reh jate hain. Like people just keep cramming these things. They don't understand what is the meaning of time period here. How much time one wave took in passing from that second, that point. That is time period. How many waves are passing from that point in one second? So again, unitary method. Four waves in four seconds, na? Right? You can say, sir, four seconds may we have two waves. Four seconds may we have two waves passing. In one second, how many waves are passing? Sir, two by four, that is 0 0.5. That is frequency. Ek second may us ek point se kitna wave pass kara? That is frequency. And if you think frequency or time period may, can you find a relation? Yeah, time period is two. Time period equals two seconds. Frequency equals 0 0.5 hertz. Unit of frequency is hertz based on scientist name. If you do 1 by t, 1 by t kya ho jayega sir? 1 by 2, it is 0 0.5. Are, frequency is 1 by t. Right? Frequency, you can say f equals 1 by t. Clear? Yes, everybody? Is it clear? Haan, maths and physics, science and maths, everything is together. Ekdam clear hai? Time period kya hota hai? Clear ho gaya? Frequency kya hota hai? Clear ho gaya ekdam? Yes, bilkul bilkul yaar. I have excused you. Tell me. What is one? Where is one? Achha. That is unitary method na? Do second mein char wave jata hai. One second mein kitna wave? Four by two. Four second mein two waves. One second mein two by four. Simple, right? Haan, very good. Reciprocal. Oh, Manvi, I'll come to this. Flute. Flute mein we have air column air columns and this can happen this can happen with uh, anything pata nahi isme hoga are agar ye chota hota na have you ever done this have you ever done this if you uh, aapka pen khali ho jaye if your pen is empty you close the tip open the cap pen ke cap mein kya karte ho you can hear sound na that is air vibrating so in flute it is the air column vibrating राइट ठीक है चलो एवरीबॉडी अब इसको सुनो जरा हियर इट केयरफुली ध्यान से सुनना सुबह हो गई क्या फाइन यू हर्ड दिस यस और नो फटाफट हा वाइब्रेटिंग पार्ट इन डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स न्यू सॉन्ग्स वी कॉल इट एनी बॉडी वाइब्रेटिंग you can say anything vibrates, no? It will produce sound. Machar mein pang phad phadata hai, table mein table phad phadati hai, right? Hai na? Yes. Clear? Ha. You saw the bird, now hear the lion. What is the difference you feel? And tell me in very common language, not technical. Common language you batao. Kya lag raha hai? What is the difference you feel in your ears? That bird sound and the, the lion's sound. What is it that you feel is different? Kya hai? Loud. Okay. Pitch. Ha. Very good. Mubeen, ulta bol diya aapne. Ha. Very good. <laughs> loudness matlab hota hai? Hello. Hello. This is loudness. Right. Pitch is the sharpness of sound. Sir, sharpness matlab, hello. Hello. Right. This is the difference between sharpness of the sound. Sound, ya to, bhoat patli hogi. Chote bachcho ki sound. Small babies, when they cry, you can see, see the difference na. Ah, ah. Right. But when, 
when you you won't cry actually but when you shout your voice is different na so difference kya hota hai patli awaaz aur bhari awaaz shrill sound means high pitch sound hello right shrill sound or high pitch sound one is low pitch sound or deep sound low pitch or deep right okay that is the difference between so if you think about it girls have naturally a high pitch voice boys or men ladko tumhari age mein to khair dono ka same hi rehta hai but when you grow up females they have a higher pitch inherently men they have a lower pitch inherently hai na right correct clear ho raha hai yes ha ah, very good ye difference hai pitch ka loudness ka nahi loudness matlab volume loudness matlab volume main apni awaaz mein in my own voice if i just say hello or hello this is loudness difference apni awaaz hi thi but if i say hello and hello this is difference of pitch clear shrillness right that is the difference if you have high shrill voice means high pitch means high frequency right so these things high pitch means high pitch means high frequency the waves will be close to each other khud socho hai na jab waves close close hongi to jyada waves pass karenge na if you think about it in 1 second in 1 second more waves can pass in this case than in this case right upar wale ki frequency zyada hai what is sir how how do i understand frequency matlab waves are very close to each other right if you have closer closer waves high frequency if you have far aisi wali wave hai to wo low frequency yes hai na ha very good pitch is ha you can say cosmic explosion that's also true but we relate pitch with frequency theek hai fine high pitch means high frequency low pitch means low frequency clear ekdam yes ha very good so frequency uh, sami i'm saying frequency means how many waves can pass in one second so this is one wave this is second wave right so number of waves are very close close to each other na so in one second more waves can pass from that point in one second इन द सेकेंड केस वेव की लेंथ बड़ी है यानी कि एक सेकेंड में ना कम वेव पास कर पाएंगी लेस वेव कैन पास थ्रू द पॉइंट इन वन सेकेंड सो फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी लो राइट फाइन सो दैट्स वाई वी से हाई पिच मीन्स हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन्स श्रिल वॉइस लो पिच मीन्स लो फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन्स डीप वॉइस क्लियर है ना चलो ना आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू Which of the following sound waves represent a loud and high-pitched sound? Yes. हाँ, waves of pitch and loudness. कशिश loudness में ये ध्यान देना होता है amplitude. And pitch में you have to focus on frequency. Answer this question. You will get the answer. Come on. Which of the following sound waves represent a loud and high-pitched sound? Yes. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B. Okay. Take away. Everybody, listen to me. you want a sound which is loud and you want a sound which is high pitch means high frequency for loudness i have to focus on amplitude sir amplitude itna this is itna this is itna are this is itna and this is itna your highest amplitude is this hai na if you compare if you compare this is the highest amplitude right amplitude zyada uska hai sir what about frequency फ्रीक्वेंसी अच्छा विच वेव आर क्लोजेस्ट कौन सी वेव एकदम पास पास है दैट वन राइट दैट वन यू कैन से इफ अ वेव हैज लेस वेव लेंथ इट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी इज मोर अगर वेव की वेव लेंथ कम होगी तो फ्रीक्वेंसी ज्यादा होगी राइट सो दिस वेव हैज द मैक्सिम फ्रीक्वेंसी इन द मैक्सिम एम्पलीट्यूड एंड दैट्स वाई दिस इज लाउड एंड श्रिल और हाई पिच क्लियर हो गया सो दैट्स वाई बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर अब एक बार बताओ हैव यू डू यू हैव पेट्स डू यू हैव अ डॉग डू यू हैव अ डॉग टेल मी शार्पनेस यस व्हाट इज पिच हिमानी पिच मतलब बच्चा श्रिलनेस है ना तीखी आवाज ही हु नो नो यूज टू हा 
Okay. But have you ever seen dogs? They suddenly becomes startled. Kutte kya hota hai? Kutte achana se na? Aise aise. Bobo, bobo. Kuch hua. You will not hear anything. But dogs, they will hear. Kuch hua. Kuch to ho gaya. Kya hua? Arre, kisko bhok rahe ho? Yaar, kya ho gaya? Tell me. Hai na? You do that. Right? Hai na? Haan. Which pitch is deep? Low pitch is deep. Haan. Very good. Right? Hai na? So, there is a special whistle which I used to train dogs. Ek whistle hoti hai. Ek, socho, if you have a normal whistle and you start blowing the normal whistle, wo sports wala, right? These types of whistle, everybody can hear. But dog whistle is a special whistle. If you blow in this whistle, na, nobody will hear. At least humans will not hear. But dog can hear. Aisi, jadui whistle. Nobody, nobody, none, koi bhi insaan nahi sunega. No humans will hear this whistle, but a dog will hear this whistle. Iska matlab, dogs have something special, right? They can hear something different also. Yes, hai na? Very good. What is this difference? It is the difference of frequency. Dekho bhai, I told you frequency is measured in herds. Humans, they have a limitation. We humans, we can hear sound from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. They go 20 kilohertz or 20,000 hertz. Same thing. This is our range. Hum is range ke andar sun sakte. But if you go below or above this range, you cannot. Like if you go above 20 kilohertz, we cannot hear. But there are animals who can hear, like dolphins, bats. Are, bats ka to ghar chalta hai se. Bats use echolocation. I mean, most bats use echolocation. And dogs, these animals, they can hear the ultrasounds, which you cannot hear, or I cannot hear, or humans cannot hear. There are animals which can hear infrasounds, the sounds which have a frequency below. 20 hertz, 20 hertz in niche, usko bolte hai, infrasound, right? Which animals can hear? Like zebra, pigeons, elephants, and I would suggest at least ek ek naam to yaad kar lena. Yes, ha, very good, you are right Janvi. Ha, yes, that's, that's Vandana, same thing, right? So, we heard humans have a limitation, 20 to 20 kilohertz, above 20 kilohertz, ultrasound, below 20 hertz, infrasound, examples, you know, theek hai? Ab suno, noise versus music. Sir, it is subjective hai. Is it happened to you? You are playing loud music in your house and suddenly your parents come, hey, kya shor kar rakha hai? Band karo. Has it happened to you? Let's say the volume of TV was high and nice music was playing and you were enjoying, ah, kya music hai? Wah, ma dance karne ka man kar raha hai. And suddenly, somebody in your home comes, awaz kam karo, baut shor ho raha hai. Yes, happens. Happens. Are you why, Rafael? Have you both read? Yes, hai na? So, noise and music. Noise is something which is unpleasant. Music is something which is pleasant, but it is subjective. But there are there could be chances, there are sounds which are unpleasant to everybody. You tell me one person who likes the traffic sound. Beep, 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 to, 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 is there anyone who likes the traffic sound? No, right? So traffic sound is definitely a noise. If someone starts playing guitar, ting, 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 and somebody, ting, 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 if you don't know how to play, your music will become noise, na? So noise can be speakers on high volumes, could be honking of vehicles, right? Hai na? Right? Music could be speaker on normal volume. If you are hearing something, it is nice, soothing, but if you increase the volume, then it can become noise for somebody, right? Sound produced by harmonium or any musical instrument, they could be music, right? So noise kya hai? Unpleasant sound. Music kya hai? Pleasant sound. That is the difference. Yes, hai na? Ah, very good. So, high or loud sounds. Now I'm coming to this. How eardrums can be damaged? You might have heard when you increase volume in your phone and you are using earphones, sometimes in some phones there is a notification. Don't play on loud sounds, right? Don't play the music very loud. It can damage your ears. How many of you have heard this? Tumne suna hoga. If you use earphones a lot, ghar mein koi na koi bol deta hai. Kaan kharaab ho jayenge, mat karo itna. Right? Hai na? Yes. 
हाँ वेरी गुड यस हाँ भाई अरे जय श्री राम हो गया चलो कौन है ना यू माइट हैव हर्ड दिस कि भाई इफ यू हियर म्यूजिक इन वेरी हाई वॉल्यूम्स राइट पीपल से कि यार इट विल डैमेज योर ईयर्स व्हाट एक्जैक्टली हाई और लाउड साउंड्स दे मेक योर ईयर ड्रम्स वाइब्रेट टू मच मोर देन व्हाट दे वर सपोज टू बी इमेजिन दिस टू बी लाइक यू हैव अ ढोलक एंड यू बैंग इट विद अ आयरन रॉड तुम्हारी ढोलक को अगर तुम लोहे के रॉड से जोर से मारोगे क्या होगा फट जाएगा ना द ढोलक विल द मेम्ब्रेन विल बी टॉर्न द मेम्ब्रेन विल बर्स्ट सेम थिंग विद योर इयर ड्रम इफ यू हियर म्यूजिक एट वेरी लाउड वॉल्यूम्स द इयर ड्रम विल वाइब्रेट मोर देन इट शुड बी एंड दिस विल डैमेज योर इयर ड्रम्स राइट है ना हाँ वेरी गुड वेव लेंथ ऑफ साउंड श्रेयश बच्चा वेव लेंथ होता है ये The length of one wave that is called as wavelength, है ना? Two crest के बीच का distance, two trough के बीच का distance उसको बोलते हैं wavelength. So what can happen because of loud sounds? Ear damage, पहली चीज. But it is not just the ear damage. There are more things which happen. Hypertension, BP बढ़ जाना. Hypertension happens. Headache, सर दर्द. Imagine when your exams are coming in March, April. That is also the duration in which lot of marriages happen. You know where I'm getting, right? तुमको समझ में आ रहा है। शादियाँ बहुत होती हैं उस टाइम पे। बाहर तुम, you are studying over here, and तुम्हारे घर के बगल में जोर से चल रहा है। Turn, 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 है ना? Full music बज रहा है। But you don't like that music, है ना? If you sit a lot, you start having headache. Loud sounds they can cause headaches. Sleeplessness. You cannot sleep if there is a marriage happening next to your house. इसीलिए we have rules. रात के 10, 11 के बाद गाने नहीं बजेंगे भाई, right? है ना? Yes, अरे वाह टेस्ट ऑफ साउंड ऑल द बेस्ट यार जानवी, right? So loud sound से क्या होता है? सर ear damage हो सकता है, hypertension हो सकता है, headache हो सकता है, sleeplessness हो सकती है, right? All these are cases. But how to reduce noise pollution? Lot of unpleasant noise is noise pollution, right? इसको कम कैसे करें? First, minimize the use of loud speakers, and that is why we have these rules in place. कि भैया रात में 10-11 के बाद music नहीं बजाएंगे, at least if you are in a society, right? These things because it disturbs everybody. People who are enjoying, they are enjoying, but what about rest? They don't like it, right? So after there is a time limitations. Avoid unnecessary honking. If you are on traffic signals, no need to horn. क्या जरूरत है भाई? जब light green होगा तब चल लेंगे ना? What is the need of pom 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 pom? Right? No need of unnecessary honking here. Next, use of firecrackers. When Diwali comes, have you seen the dogs in Diwali? कुत्ते बजा रहे थे डरे होते हैं ना यार मतलब the dogs are so scared in Diwali कहाँ पटाके फट रहे boom bam बड़म 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 right and you might have seen if you have old if you have grandparents in your house they become they they are so 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 tensed sometimes right it's not sure हो रहा है so loud firecrackers they cause noise pollution boom है ना these things happen use soundproofing walls so this is one more way in which this is studio in which i am recording right now i am taking this session it has soft sponges thermocol sort of a thing right they absorb sound then we have plant more trees because more trees dekha hoga tumne sadak ke aas na bahut trees lagai jate hain one reason is to reduce the noise pollution because trees and the leaves everything they have a way of reducing the noise pollution right so these are different different measures ये इम्पोर्टेंट है इससे बहुत क्वेश्चन आते हैं। This is something which is repeated many times. So please इसको समझो। I'm not saying cram it, I'm saying understand it, right? है ना? Yes. By force, Manoj, if you apply force, then only things will vibrate. But yeah, that's true. But if you apply force and vibration doesn't happen, sound will not come. So vibration is required, right? With this, I can say we are done with the sound chapter for class eighth. बच्चों in this chapter, I have I have tried my best to make sure you understand each and everything. तुमको थोड़ा extra ही पढ़ाया मैंने, right? So if you believe that you learned everything properly, don't forget to press the like button because team makes lot of these sessions. It takes effort, it takes motivation, and your likes give motivation. लोगों को लगता है कि ठीक है, समझ में आया? ठीक है, like press किया, बहुत बढ़िया. If you put comments and you tell us what is the requirement, people feel good. That's why. Whatever doubts, whatever requirements you have, tell us in the comment section. I, I, I agree. I have not been able to reply for your last comments because I'm telling you, 
लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग नाउ डेज तुम्हारे लिए बहुत कुछ कर रहे हैं हम लोग और कल हम शूट करने वाले हैं डोंट फॉरगेट टू फिल द फॉर्म फॉर विच आई हैव गिवन यू इन द कम्युनिटी उसको फॉर्म को भरना मत भूलना तुम्हारा कोई भी डाउट है एंड यू वॉन्ट टू आस्ट फ्रॉम वास्तु सर टुमारो इज द डे राइट आज भर दो रात तक उसको सो एवरीबारी डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सब्सक्राइब करो अच्छी एजुकेशन चाहिए सब्सक्राइब टाइम पास करना है मस्ती करो बहुत लंबी है जिंदगी कोई दिक्कत नहीं है राइट सो एवरीबॉडी टेक केयर सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम नौ बज गए हैं गो एंड हैव डिनर बाद में मिलेंगे बाय बाय